Hello, thank you for tuning in. I'm Chiara Longoni, and I'm excited to share a research title, News from Generative AI is Believed Less, co-authored with Andre Fredkin, Luca Chan, and Gordon Pennycook. The full paper is available open access in the ACM fact proceedings, as well as on our websites. And all experimental materials, registrations, and data are posted publicly on the Open Science Framework under our names, or the link is provided here as well. So one of the applications of artificial intelligence that has shown the most promising advances in the last decade is that of generative AI, which refers to AI algorithms capable of producing textual, visual, and auditory content with little to no human intervention. Applications of generative AI are more pervasive than one might think. For instance, leading media companies such as the Associated Press, Forbes, the New York Times, the Washington Post, all use AI to generate entire articles from scratch and automatically report on crimes, financial markets, politics, sporting events, and foreign affairs. When AI is used to generate content, its role is typically not disclosed. And without this disclosure, readers cannot typically determine whether an AI was used from text alone. However, because of the potential misuse or unintended consequences of these new technologies, ethicists and policymakers have argued that the use of AI should be disclosed. And it's even possible that such disclosure would be mandated or regulated by law. So the question that we ask in this research is how will people perceive news generated by AI once it is labeled as such? At the moment, we don't know the answer to this question because most of existing research has focused on the technical aspects of text generation or on the benefits of AI to publishers. And so it has neglected to consider how people will perceive news from AI, which is what we do in our research. Specifically, we focus on the effect of tagging news items as written by AI or by a human on perceptions of news accuracy. We focus on accuracy as it is an important dimension of news perception, given that the extent to which a news item is initially accepted as true determines the extent to which that item is processed and later remembered. There are two opposing theoretical perspectives related to the perceived accuracy of AI-generated news. The first one predicts that news from AI will be perceived as more accurate than news from human reporters. AI is typically viewed as lacking human desires, motives, and emotions. And these qualities may be incorporated into how people judge content generated by AI as being relayed impartially and dispassionately, or in other words, as more truthful. In addition, research shows that people appreciate algorithms more than humans for tasks that are impersonal, require objectivity or impartiality. As people want journalism to be impartial and neutral, this AI appreciation account predicts that people would perceive news from AI as more accurate than news from human reporters. The alternative account is instead grounded in people's resistance towards replacement of humans by automated systems. People are averse to AI supplanting humans on the grounds that AI is unable to adapt to mutable, unpredictable, or unique contexts, and that it lacks empathy and experiential abilities. In addition, news production may be considered a morally laden task, and people view it inappropriate for AI to make moral decisions. So the competing AI aversion account predicts that people would perceive news from AI as less accurate than news from human reporters. We tested our predictions in two large pre-registered experiments on nationally representative US samples. We used real news comprising a text headline and an accompanying photo that appeared in news outlets at the time of the experiment. We focused on headlines rather than on full articles because news consumption largely occurs at the level of headlines, as it's often the case on social media. As we were interested in assessing whether the effect of AI disclosure was moderated by news actual veracity, whether the news was objectively accurate or inaccurate, we predetermine whether each news item was true or false by relying on the fact-checking site snoops.com. We described AI reporters as algorithmic processes that convert data into narrative news text with limited to no human intervention behind the initial programming choices. And we clarified that human or AI reporters wrote these news headlines based on information available to them and to the news outlets, employing them at the time in which the news headline was written. We conducted two experiments to test our hypothesis. Experiment one employed a between subject or a separate evaluation paradigm. 
participants saw either news items tagged as written by an AI reporter or by a human reporter. Our main dependent variable was perception of news accuracy assessed on a four point scale. Here you can see some examples of the news we used, which participants saw in random order. Half of the news had been fact-checked to be true, and the other half was false. We conducted this experiment in three experimental waves, so that in each wave we added novel news to account for the potential effect of the age of the news, the amount of time a certain news had been accessible to the public. Experiment two employed a within subject or a joint evaluation paradigm. Participants saw both news items tagged as written by AI and by a human. We conducted this within subject experiment to refine the measurement of accuracy, given that it should be easier to evaluate the reporter in a joint paradigm. I will now walk you through the results of these two studies. As pre-registered, we performed the main analysis at the level of individual accuracy perception ratings, i.e. one data point per news item per participant using a linear regression with robust standard errors clustered on participant. Both experiments showed a negative effect of AI disclosure. Tagging news items as written by an AI was associated with a significant reduction in perceived accuracy compared to the control condition in which news items were tagged as written by a human, and these results are in column one. Regression specifications with news items fixed effects, which allow for baseline accuracy rating to vary with the news, column two, and separately for true, column three, and false news, column four, yielded the same conclusions. The effect was directionally larger for false news than true news in experiment one, but the two effects are not statistically different. I will encourage you to refer to the full paper for a detailed account of the analysis and results of treatment effect heterogeneity related to the other variables that we collected. These results are also plotted in these figures, left panel for experiment one and the right panel for experiment two, where you see the estimates of the treatment effect of AI disclosure, again, versus human or slash control condition on perceived news accuracy and the 95 confidence interval for separate regressions conducted for each news item. In red are the false news and in blue the true news. The dotted line plots the average treatment effect for the entire sample. In experiment one, the negative effect of a disclosure emerged for all but one of the news items that we tested, a range from minus 20% points to 3% points across news. In experiment two, the negative effect of a disclosure emerged for all news items, ranging from minus 24 to minus 7. So to summarize, the results of our experiments strongly corroborated an AI aversion account. Disclosing the use of AI led people to believe news less, an effect that was robust to experimental paradigm, to several respondents' characteristics, including political orientation, religiosity, and demographics, actual news veracity, and news age or novelty. An important implication of our experiments is that calls for transparency in the use of generative AI may backfire. Disclosing use of AI may further exacerbate the already declining public trust in news outlets. Overall, our research is only the first step towards understanding the complex phenomenon of how people perceive generative AI. Given the speed with which AI systems are being developed and adopted, we hope that this research will spur further investigation of this topic. Many thanks for your attention.